Yo, what's good? Big Z here, and today I'm going to show you my favorite keyboard shortcuts. Now, these are specific to Logic, but you can still watch the video and get ideas on how to improve your workflow in Ableton or FL Studio or whatever software that you use. I'll leave a list of all the shortcuts down below in the description if you wanna just copy and paste those into like the notes on your computer or the notes on your phone so you can remember them. Once you get the hang of using all these shortcuts, it'll just become second nature to you and it'll just really help you produce a lot faster. So the first three shortcuts I always use in tandem with one another. For example, if I wanted to try out some new kicks in a track, I would go into my sample pack here and drag a couple kicks in to try them out. Just drag them in wherever. And now I just want these all to start at the drop right here. So without individually having to go in and drag these all over, I can just highlight each one and hit the semicolon key. Semicolon, 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 semicolon. Now they're all lined up. Now what I would do is zoom in a little bit and then pack the folders so I can loop them easily. So I've made a custom key command for this. I'll show you how to do it. So my custom key command is Option Shift F. So Option Shift F, Option Shift F, Option Shift F. And now I'll just make them one quarter note. And the third key command in this chain would be the loop button. So I'll hit L. And now I can just cut them off at the end of the drop right here. So that's just the easiest way, in my opinion, to get samples in and loop them really quickly. Now the next two I'm gonna show you have more to do with organizing your project. So what I like to do is color code the different sections of my project. So to do that, I would just highlight some different regions and I would hit option C and this color palette comes up and I can just change the colors of those regions. Another good thing to organize your projects with is to make track stacks. So if I wanted to put these six tracks into one folder, into one stack, I would just hit Command Shift F. And now they're all in this subfolder right here that I can expand and collapse. So if you do that for your whole project, it'll just make everything a lot more organized. The next two I use all the time are for time stretching audio files. So say I brought in some drum loops that were a different BPM than my track. So this one right here is 105 BPM. I can just drag it in here. And without even looking at it, I'll use the semicolon to line it up. And then I can just hit Command Option B. And now it'll just time stretch to the nearest bar. So now it's in time with the track. Another thing you can do is time stretch regions to locators. So say I wanted to be more exact with it and time stretch it to where this locator is set. I would hit Command Option L. So that's just a way to easily get your loops in time with your track. The last few shortcuts I have are just to help you in the piano roll when you're creating chords and melodies and stuff. So say I take these chords that I've already recorded in here. I've already, I've already edited them, but I'll show you the key commands I would use. So I'll hit P to bring up the piano roll. Say these chords were all like 16th notes or something. Let me just change them real quick. So if I wanted them to run into each other and be like a pad sound, all I would need to do is hit shift backslash and it recognized their chords. So I'm going to hit keep and now they all run into each other, but they don't overlap. So you did record chords and there were a bunch of overlapping notes. The way to fix that would be to highlight all the notes and then just hit the backslash key and then it recognizes their chords again, so I'll hit keep. And now all those overlapping notes are fixed. There are some helpful key commands to move around these mini notes as well. So if I select everything, I can hold down option and hit the up or down arrow to move everything by one semitone, or I can hold option shift up and down to move everything by an octave. I can also hold down option and move things left or right with the left and right arrow keys. And I can also change the length that I move them by. If I want to move them by a whole bar, I can hit option control M. Now they're moving by a whole bar. If I want to move them by a quarter note, I can hit option control B. Now they're moving by a quarter note. And if I want to move them by a 16th note, I can hit option control D. 
and they move by 16th notes. So it's a lot to remember all of them at first, but just write them down on a sheet of paper and keep them under your computer, your monitor, and just remember to use them. And soon enough, it'll become second nature and it'll help you produce a lot faster. So hopefully you guys found this one helpful. Other than that, I'll catch you next time. Peace.